Last weekend, I attended Portland Startup Weekend. Has anyone heard of that? Yes. Yeah. Has anyone not heard of that? Can you explain it? All right. So Portland Startup Weekend is a, it's a, it's a hackathon that's not focused specifically for developers. Uh, one third of the people that go are developers. The other two thirds are designers and business people. You go on Friday night and you uh, pitch your idea, and the top. In this case, eight ideas out of 50 that were pitched are selected, and you form teams around those ideas and build a business in a weekend. Um, the criteria for winning the weekend is uh, one third your business model, one third the execution, design, application, whatever, whatever like it, your your product that you present, and then. Bam! All right, Portland Center weekend. Here we go. Um, and then the last third is your customer validation. So you actually have to get out on the street and talk to customers, show them your product, get their feedback on that. Um, and I am here to talk about how we hacked the hackathon, hacked the startup weekend. Um, we were, uh, this is why our, our business, there's me, I'm really big. Uh, so our business was hashtag tell me. Uh, this is supposed to be the sidebar, like you know, taking up this much space, but it's very, very much not that. There we go. All right. Um, yeah. So our hashtag tell me. Uh, the, the business model was we go on Instagram. When, if you're an authenticated user um, using OAuth, you can go on and uh, comment hashtag tell me like I did here, and then uh, or like here like. Hashtag tell me how to get in my belly. Um, then you go back to here, and this is our application. Um, refresh your dashboard, and bam, they are here. Um, theoretically, like you're supposed to be, we're supposed to be hooked in through a WebSocket to uh, Instagram. Um, when you hit hashtag tell me, you get a, a nice message, which I just got, and I thought that it would show up here. Let's go get my messages. Yeah, so we get a text message giving us information about that business um, from our application. And uh, theoretically, this works. Like, you know, does anyone see any reason why this isn't working here? It, it looks like it's working, right? Um, so yeah, this is uh, that was that was our intention. Um, we made everyone believe that we had a working application. Um, yeah, hashtag tell me this is TDX weekend. You know they're super excited about our presentation. Um, they're killing it with our MVP. Tag Instagram, send a text to their phone. Blah blah blah. We did it. Great job, right? Um, well, we spent about eight hours on Saturday. I don't know if anyone here has worked with OAuth before. Has anyone worked with OAuth? Is, does anyone like OAuth? I'm still trying to figure it out. Still yeah, so <laughs> let me tell you about our development team. So I, I am a recent graduate of Epicodus. I've never worked professionally as a Rails developer. Very little experience working with APIs, let alone OAuth. And then the two other developers that are on my, on my team were PHP students at Epicodus that haven't even gotten into their, like, they were in their eighth week. So that was our development team. We're, we're up there competing with Mike Perham and all these all-star Rails developers. Um, who big cross name is awesome. Um, so, anyways, we were super intimidated, and then we finally got some uh, some mentorship that said, like, don't worry about creating a product, just make it look like you have a product. And so that's what we did. Um, <laughs> and so yeah, this is our, our controller method that makes it look like we have a a, a, a viable product. So this is a, a, us creating a Twilio client, you know, hard-coded SIDs and API keys. Super high-tech here. Um, <laughs> we just decided to go ahead and just choose these two applications, or these two, these were actually businesses we talked to. So we're gonna go in there and we actually did this hashtag tell me live in our, during our uh, tech demo. Um, <laughs> and then uh, as soon as we did that, we went back, hit our, our nice little like, Dashboard method, which if you look down here to the left, it goes to slash jcat, which I actually renamed this method to smoke and mirrors. It used to be slash jcat, which is my name. Um, so this is where it's going. It's going here, creating our Twilio client, sending these couple text messages, creating a couple of uh, images, which we actually, this is, these are legitimate, like, 
we got OAuth working using curl, um, but if we look here at our uh, static pages controller, this is my like my access token hard coded into the, the file. You guys can go into GitHub and steal my OAuth Instagram, whatever, whatever it's called. <laughs> uh, yeah, created the images. A uh, little bit of a, our display user. You know, we have a our one model is a display user <laughs> that has many images. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Did you win? We uh, we didn't, but uh, we actually the the company that won actually like had a really legitimate business and they completely deserved it. And or did they? <laughs> they? They actually won. They didn't even have a, a, an application. They just had uh, images of what their website will look like. <laughs> But anyways, yeah, so when we're done, we just go back here and hit reset. <laughs> it won't. That's what it should do. It should be set. There it is. All done? Anyway, that's it. It was one of the most invigorating things I've ever done. Um, I felt like the entire weekend we just had this like really strong adrenaline rush, just like trying to get this thing done. Um, met some really great people. My teammate, my teammates were awesome. I had, I just mentioned the developers on my team, but we're also some really talented business people um, that helps drive us and keep us going. And they were out there talking to customers. They talked to over 25 businesses. We had really positive feedback. They thought this was a really great idea. Um, if it worked. <laughs> yeah. Do you think, I mean, so I, I, I'm wondering, like, what is the moral of the story here? Do you think that, like, startup thinking is maybe unrealistic in its expectations for what can be built in a, like, short period of time? Or do you think maybe that there, the team needs to be more diverse as far as experience? Or, like, is there some takeaway? or? Yeah, so I guess the moral of the story is really why I came up here, and I completely forgot about talking about it. Um, the moral of the story actually is here is that I really wanted to come up and say, like, is you don't have to be an all-star developer. Like, you can go out there and you can make, you you can go to a hackathon or whatever and like actually compete, no matter what your skill level is. It's just more about your creativity and your drive and like how well you work with your team. And I mean, honestly, like, the biggest takeaway for me was like I didn't care if I won or not. I had so much fun just like over the experience of the weekend, just like hanging out with my teammates and like re like, you know, like coming up with these controller, like the smoke and mirrors controller method was like more fun than anything I've ever done as a developer. Like, like how can we just like completely mess with the judges and like, they had no idea. Like we had like the judges coming up and shaking our hands like that was awesome. And you know, like, that was great, but they had no idea. <laughs> uh, yeah. Round of applause.